Everyone loves a good biopic. They can make us think and cry, inspire us to greatness, and have us cheering in the aisles. But they are based on a true story, which means the filmmakers do take a few liberties with the truth. This is Sparta! Here are a few biopics that have either exaggerated certain true life details for dramatic purposes or flat out invented things entirely. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Use offer code COLLIDER for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Let's start our list with the 1996 Best Picture winner Braveheart. Mel Gibson directs and stars in the film as William Mollis, whose fight for Scottish independence and liberty from England cost him his life. Speaking of liberties, this film certainly takes a few. First, Wallace's nickname wasn't actually Braveheart. The face paint and kilts are about 300 years off, the costumes aren't period at all, and Isabella of France wasn't even 10 years old when the events of the movie happened, so she couldn't have been carrying William's child. Also, Wallace wasn't a commoner raised by his uncle, but rather a nobleman trained for battle. Those bloody battle scenes sure feel realistic, though. <laughs> The Social Network is up next. It tells the story of how Mark Zuckerberg created Facebook. Welcome to Facebook. In the movie, from director David Fincher and writer Aaron Sorkin, we're led to believe that he starts this social media juggernaut in an attempt to win back his ex-girlfriend. In real life, however, Zuckerberg was already dating his future wife when the events of the movie take place. Also, he's presented as this socially awkward opportunist with no regard for other people's feelings, when, according to most accounts, he was actually a nice guy in terms of outward demeanor. Zuckerberg claims that the only thing the movie got right was his wardrobe. Doesn't anybody have a sense of humor? Sandra Bullock won an Oscar for playing Leanne Too High in the Blindside. In the movie, Two Eyes family takes in troubled teen Michael Orr and helps him overcome a number of life obstacles. Bullock's Two Eye encourages Orr to take up football in the film, which leads him to eventually playing in the NFL. But this is a total fabrication. You can thank me later. Orr was already being scouted long before the Two Eyes entered his life. The film actually credits Orr's personal accomplishments and ambitions all to the Two Eye family, which irked Orr in real life. He stated in later interviews that the movie didn't accurately portray him or his life at all. Zack Snyder's 300 tells the story of the Battle of Thermopylae. This is where they die! The film is based on Frank Miller's graphic novel, but that doesn't excuse it from using battle rhinos, whatever those guys with saw for arms were, or turning the real-life Xerxes into a pierced giant villain. Also, the Greek forces at the Battle of Thermopylae were closer to 5,000 or 6,000, not 300. Snyder has boasted that the movie is, quote, 90% accurate and that historians loved it. Well, maybe they did, but most likely not because of its historical accuracy. And finally, we've come to the the Greatest Showman. This surprising box office smash stars Hugh Jackman as P.T. Barnum, the young and charming man who seeks to be a champion of acceptance and tolerance through his show. However, this film has a circus tent full of inaccuracies. Barnum was actually 60 years old when he started his show. He never actually publicly cheated on his wife with singer Jenny Lind, and Lind quit the tour not because Barnum rejected her advances, but because she didn't like how relentlessly he was marketing her. Also, Zac Efron's Philip Carlyle and Zendaya's Ann Wheeler are completely fictitious characters. Characters. And Sam Humphrey's General Tom Thumb was actually four years old when he was recruited and not 22, as we see in the movie. Thumb was real, though, along with the bearded lady and the dog boy, so there is that. <laughs> Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Love creating content as much as we do? With Squarespace, you can build your very own website for movie reviews, trailer reactions, mashups, or whatever you want to create. Easily embed YouTube content in with their Video Blocks tool, which improves loading speeds for your users. You can also connect to your social media accounts to post on your site and automatically send out tweets and Facebook posts to your fans. Plus, you can use their all-in-one services to buy a domain name and find the perfect template. Head to squarespace.com collider to get started and use promo promo code COLLIDER for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So what do you think? Which of these biopics inaccuracies bother you the most? For more, make sure to subscribe and visit us at Collider.com. You know, let's go get a drink and celebrate.